Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be inspecting the Stoke City Squad finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button. Keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. I've been trying to do each and every Premier League side since its release, and the release is still less than uh, 24 hours old. So I'm, I'm I'm tripping away on it, and it's now the turn for Stoke City. So let's jump straight in with the start of the overview. That's right, folks, back once again with another overview of um, FM18. Uh, I'm returning to the platform or uh, game or community. Um, haven't been out of it for a good 10 years. So I'm still trying to navigate my way through the extensive drop-down menus and, and options and things like that. But anyway, here we are with Stoke City. Just going to tr provide you a quick glimpse of what's in store should you decide to choose Stoke as your option. I know a couple of Stoke fans out there. So a big shout out to them bad boys. But anyway, this is what your preseason looks like on my um, game. I don't think this is the same for everybody. But uh, a visit of FC20 and a visit of Red Star. Then it looks like you're off to um, Austria, perhaps. Um, this looks like a Portuguese side. Ferreira, yeah. And who else have we got? Last but not least, Slovakia. And that's got to be Slovakia, right? Check. Eh, close enough. So that's your, that's your pre season. <coughs> Nothing too crazy. Obviously, this is all generic. It does give you a sneak peek of what I'm going to go into next, which is the finances. So you're going to start the season, looks like, with 27 million, uh, with a wage budget of 1.2. Um, you can increase it somewhat, push it closer to 30, um, but that will reduce your uh, wage budget considerably. Um, you can opt to make some requests, maybe make some more transfer funds available, um, but that will then, if it's denied, or you, you could ruffle a few feathers and get off to a pretty crappy start. Um, but you do get to keep 90% of any revenue you make from any transfers that you do uh, you uh, if you decide to sell some players. But anyway, let's take a look at your youth setup. Mixed bag of players you got here. Look at this guy straight off the bat, 17 year old Fijian centre back. Um, doesn't the, the the coach's summary for this fella doesn't look too promising. Uh, however, he's got a current three star, so maybe he'll do the business in the under 18s. Uh, Rashid Balde is that Ghanaian? No, Bissau Guinean. 17 years old, potential two star, uh, nothing too crazy. Who's the youngest guy? We've got any young, real youngsters? No 15 year olds? No. What about the value? Who's the most expensive? Joe Bursick, goalkeeper. 65k. Currently only a one star, but could have the makings of a three star. Six, 16 years old, and then you've got Lasse Sorensen, uh, potential to be a two star. So. Quick glance doesn't uh, a glance or glimpse uh, doesn't really show any standouts in the under 18s. Um, as for I, I might be wrong. I'm only I'm spending literally 90 seconds looking at those. Um, you know you will have more time to to investigate. Um, but I'm just wanting to give you a quick quick glance and have a look at what's what. Um, as for the under 23s, three goalkeepers on the books in there. One 17 year old, so he's already been pushed up uh, a notch. So there must be some reason for that. Could you know, could be a, a decent one in the making. Um, Ginelli Mbula, he was a record signing, I believe, for Stoke. He is now on loan at Toulouse. Um, maybe you can recall him. Bojan's on holiday. On loan at Alves. Oh my goodness, is he on loan for? X amount of seasons or, or what? Well, anyway, he's he's a decent player. You know, he's just had a troubled, troubled time. Anyway, um, any other players that stand out for you? Let's rejig this. Bojan is the top top dog, twenty six point five. He was always in the shadow of Messi. Who is who isn't in the shadow of Messi? Whether in Barcelona, um, uh, Mark Munessa, another heavy heavy transfer fee paid for him. Um, 
He's on loan at Girona. Just, I'm trying to take it all in myself. This is like the first time I'm looking at Stoke, so I'm just trying to uh, observe what uh, what players are out there. Six foot eight, Bohem of centre back, Harry Suter. Who's wanting? Who's after this fella? A host of Premier League uh, Championship clubs in there. Uh, anyway, let's look at the big boys, the main squad. Let's get it a little bit more clear cut so I can see what's going on. Two goalkeepers, obviously Jack Butland, quality keeper. Uh, Lee Grant, been around a while. Steady, safe pair of hands for uh, for your reserve keeper. You got Ryan Shawcross, quality uh, defender. Always stuck with his uh, Stoke City time. He, I think, I'm sure he was offered places uh, in the past, but he stayed loyal, so that's good to see. Crouchy on the transfer list. 1.2 million. That could be a bargain for someone. Six foot seven. Obviously in uh, Harry Suter's sh uh, shadow there. Um, Charlie Adam also on the transfer list. Eight million. You want eight million for Charlie Adam? Yeah, having a bubble. Uh, Eric Peters wanted by Everton and West Brom. Shoby is also wanted by our Premier League teams and maybe some some teams abroad. Uh, but yeah, that's a quick glance at your your side there. Let's have a look at the value of some of these players. Shakiri knocking on 35 million. Kurt Zuma, who's on loan from Chelsea, worth 40 million, according to these bad boys. Sado Mourinho, 28 million. Never really kicked off so far for him. Joe Allen, Maxim Chupo Montaigne, uh, he's in there, 28 years old. Um, so. Like you would expect it to be. Let's have a look at the contract situation. Who's on their way out? Stephen Ireland. He's got a contract that expires in December. That probably needs rectified, but he's got a bit of an injury. Um, so it might see the last of him. Kurt Zuma, obviously, his loan uh, deal ends in the spring. Glenn Johnson, Charlie Adam, Mama Diouf, Jesse. Who's on loan from Paris Saint-Germain and Peter Crash? All these players, contracts, Jesse's on loan, but the rest of the guys in the middle here, they are due for a renewal. So let's have a look at the competitions now. The board expect mid-table finish. They expect you to reach the fifth round and they expect you to reach the fourth round of the League Cup. Um, realistic, doable expectations. Nothing too crazy. Here's your team report. Like I say, in each and every one of these uh, overview videos, you could pause the video and have a good read of that. I don't have the, the, the time to do that. Here's a quick overview of your squad depth. Um, right back seems to be a position that uh, lacks in numbers. Your centre-backs, I think you're pretty pretty covered there. You've got four decent centre-backs. And then uh, Jeff Cameron can also play in this, should you choose to go that way. I'm not... I. You know, if you have a lot of strikers on the books, but are any of those real standout superstar guys that could put the ball on the back of that? Probably not. So maybe you could offload two or three of those and bring in a striker. But that's just a quick. That's that's a that's a unbiased opinion. Just throwing my two cents in there. As for the dynamics, dressing room atmosphere is cracking. The rest, obviously, the rest of them cannot be affected because they've just taken over. So. Um, but it, should, it shouldn't say poor. It should say not known. Not known. Social groups. This is the main core of them. Obviously, Shawcross, Skipper, he's up there. Crouch. Uh, a lot of these players have been together at the club for some time. Hence why they are the core social group. Whereas these guys, pretty new uh, to, the, to the area, to the, to the team. So and that's why they are on the outskirts. As for the happiness... A couple of players uh, extremely good. Uh, a couple of players superb. Uh, Ramadan Sobi, despite being on the transfer list, he's in superb spirits, as is Glenn Johnson, even though he is on a... Uh, is his contract up for a renewal? Yes, it is. So, you know, despite being on a one-year deal, he's pretty happy. I did not know he was 32 years old. My goodness. Um, but, yeah, it's just a pretty much a, a brief overview of the Stoke City... Uh, set up here so should you choose to pick stoke city when you do play fm18 that's what you're going to set yourself up for uh, that's pretty much all i have for you if there's something i've missed please leave a comment in the section below i plan to do each and every premier league team over the next day or so um, however if there's a team out there whether it's in a foreign league domestic league 
uh, or maybe even an international team, if you want me to give you an overview of those, please let me know. Again, just scribble something down in the comment section. I'll try and do it for you. Uh, moving forward, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual FM18 game does calm down, I do plan to do some game saves. So please check back. I've got some cracking uh, setups um, in the works uh, and it'll be awesome viewing. So please uh, stick around. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.